script ts server log enables logging of the ts server to a file this can lo uh, this log can be used to diagnose ts server issues the log may contain file paths source code and other potentially sensitive information from your project so uh, you have two ways of viewing the log you you can you have the trace setting right here so ts server trace and you can see that directly by going here to the output and it will show up here as a TypeScript language server or um, you can actually write that output to a log um, okay so we have off oh and by the way obviously this is only useful if you're developing some uh, TypeScript uh, well I guess a TypeScript server really so we have normal terse, I don't really know what this is, and you have verbose, but I guess these are kind of um, like levels of detail. I don't know, terse, I don't know what this, if this is between normal and verbose, probably, I don't really know, but um, but let me show you where, where how this works. So actually, before we change this from off to something else, um, let me show you where this is. So we don't need this. So let's go to the root and then we go to users. Um, then here we have to go to library. So you have to uh, see hidden folders. Inside library, you go into application support. Then you go for, you choose code. I'm using the insider's version, so then let's go into this one. Then you have logs, and then you have a bunch of codes. Um, these codes are actually the dates. Notice 2019, 10, 0, 09, that's the that's today's date. And then if you open this up, you have a bunch of a bunch more folders, and the one we're interested in is the external host file uh, folder. And inside this folder, we don't yet have a folder for the TypeScript server, and that's because we haven't changed this option yet. So let's change this to verbose, for example. And let's open a TypeScript file and do something, like delete and rewrite this for loop. Okay, so let's make this run for 10, 10 times. And let's do a log with a message. Okay, pretty much that. And if we come to Finder again, we'll see, we'll find inside the external hosts one file uh, folder, a VS Code TypeScript language features folder. And you will, if you open this up, you will have the logs in here. And this, these would be the log files, right? That uh, it's generating now. Keep in mind that, especially if you have this setting set to verbose, these files grow pretty large, pretty fast. Like a single for loop generated a, a 315 kilobytes file, right? So this is like huge. So keep that in mind. Um, but, you know, obviously don't leave this option just turned on because it will fill up your disk pretty fast. But if you need to debug, this is where you go.